will produce seeds right away. Effective teachers but attend to individual and group dynamics. From observing children's comfort levels and preferences with various groupings, they can plan strategies to ensure that each child feels secure and supported in trying out new or uncomfortable situations. Since student choice is so important in many after-school settings, activities should make room for all youth to spend time working in the ways that suit them best. Some students may prefer working individually, while others would rather work in groups. Some may prefer drawing, while others would rather build. Younger students may have different needs from older ones. Notice this volunteer's heart for the children and how she adjusts her expectations about each child and their experience based on what she knows about them as individuals. I really like working with kids. I love, like, uh, um, Austin today, when he came down, he was determined not to have a good time. He didn't want to be here, he wasn't going to sit down, and he ended up, you know, getting really involved. So I like to see that. Um, I like to see the kids like Bernie and Michael, their whole thing is how much attention they can get, <laughs> you know, <laughs> to ac actually get a little something out of it when they're calm enough or listening enough to to know what's going on. And even the quiet ones who don't, you know, who are really quiet and don't, you know, raise their voices or answer any questions, I'd like to make sure they get involved and, you know. So you see the staff interacting with students, um, you know, in a for informal ways as well as um, so they know their name, they might know things about them, they might be asking them questions about you know, how's your sister, how's, you know, how was school today? I mean, they're engaging in sort of um, supportive and, and, and a little more personal conversations with them, um, that they have respect in the classroom, that, you know, they have a certain authority in the classroom and students are, are following their lead in terms of um, the guidance and directions that they're giving them. Um, you know, they have a good sense of humor, the students laugh, they enjoy being around them, they smile at the students. Um, you know, they, uh, you can just tell, I mean, there are some programs where, um, you know, the students walk in and they hug the staff at the beginning of class. And so obviously there's some connection there. The students feel comfortable with the staff member um, and they're, they're um, you know, see them as a caring person. This camp director's classroom teaching experience helps her to make intentional decisions with her summer campers, getting to know each of them personally. The past year I had a child who, no matter who he was paired with for grouping, um, tended to have a difficult time working with other kids because of the control that he wanted to take. And you can work with kids on that, um, kind of talking through, modeling some ways to help them work together, helping them understand that uh, it's okay if it doesn't always go your way. Maybe you try it the way of your partners first and then your way. Um, but there's also times when those kids, if they're happy working alone, it's okay. Um, maybe they're working alone with the materials, but you get them pulled into the discussion with the group. And um, you just kind of have to get to know the kids.